workshop is a little, it's a lot. <laughs> but to us, it is everything. Now you might be thinking, we are surrounded by a lot of old junk. Rest assured, some of this is new junk. <laughs> you will have the opportunity to meet Stacy and I, Michael, Brad, Grace, and Kylie. And you may call me Kembe. We call ourselves the Gatherers. We search the galaxy for ancient relics. We go forgotten places, abandoned outposts, battle-ravaged lands. And what we find, we bring back here. So where a stormtrooper sees only worthless clutter, those who know see priceless history. And in these troubled times, preserving our past may be the key to ensuring our future. How many of you know the legend of Luke Skywalker? But you, good, good. And now we understand there is another, a new Jedi. Tell me her name. Ray. Ray. Ray, correct. A scrapper, just like us. And what she is leading is the spark of hope that we have all been waiting for. And that is why we're here to look ahead to build this a lightsaber. Lightsaber has been wielded by some of our greatest heroes and our darkest enemies. It is elegant, enigmatic. To build a lightsaber is an art. The saber becomes a direct reflection of the builder because the force flows between them. And today, you will feel that connection. But enough of my talking, let's get started. We will begin with perhaps the most important component of the lightsaber, and that is the Kyber crystal. Able to focus the energy of the Force, to magnify it. There are those who say the Kyber crystal is the heart of the lightsaber. The color of the crystal will determine the color of the blade. For example, blue, as wielded by the great master Obi-Wan Kenobi, his apprentice Anakin Skywalker, and we are told, gray. Green, Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tana, Great Master Yoda himself, and Luke Skywalker. The violet crystal, rare and beautiful, as wielded by Mace Windu. Red. There are those who call this the color of power. The crystal of Darth Maul, Asajj Ventress, Darth Vader, and now Kylo Ren. But these are the stories of the past, and we are here for you, our future. So now it is time for you to choose your Kylo crystal, the heart of your lightsaber. Everyone, close your eyes. No peeking. Picture those kyber crystals in your mind's eye. What color shines brightest to you? What color calls to you? What color is yours? Now open your eyes and select your kyber crystal. You'll find a chassis, 
a selection of grips, emitters, pump caps, and activation plates. Building your lightsaber is a personal journey. Just as you selected your kyber crystal, you will choose the pieces that make up your own individual lightsaber. The gatherer in front of you will help you along this path. So all of that being said, let's build. I find that it's easiest to get smaller in at the bottom of your hand, wrap my fingers around the back, and then guide in the top of my cheek. And you want to sweat up, and then sit, and sit. And once you have that, hold it up so I can check it and see how it's ready. Is sideways right? <laughs> It's better, really than my first time. it's better than my first time. My first time, my kyber crystal flew across the room. Those behind you may or may not have been called Okay. <laughs> Thank you. See? It's not just you. Okay. Good. Yeah, I don't see long nails. Yeah, you have. He has no excuse to talk. <laughs> Push up. There you go. So the next step is going to be your activation plate. You'll see a blue and red square on the center of your chassis. You're going to select the center of your red square on the inside of each of your plates. You're going to choose a red marker to add to the dash of the relic. The red will line up with that, and then it will snap on the red And blue is going to be the same Once you have those on, have you I'm shaking. <laughs> oh, we're, okay. Did I do this wrong? Red. <laughs> I'm a problem child. We can swap that out. Okay. Already with that, have you touched your switch for me? Perfect. There we go. Beautiful, thank you. Alright, and then our next step is going to be your grip. You can choose any two of your four. And that thicker, either bronze or soft grip, is going to go towards your place. And you'll push into it to get it tightened on. One will go on the top, and one will go on the bottom. Either side. Remember, because these you can. Mm -hmm. Pop a ring in. What? Pop a ring in. Got it. Thank you, honey. And then you'll push and twist together to tighten it. Push. So you're going to accept your and then your emitter is going to go there on the top. I'll just push it on. Okay. 
And who knows? Maybe next time, we'll be telling your stories. Till the spire. Till the spire.